guys, it's Jassy V, and I have an eye on my shirt that's watching you today. I'm just kidding. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should never ever go down a red slide. I feel like there's always something creepy associated with red things and it freaks me out, but I'm also fascinated. So I'm gonna be telling you a few really eerie stories that will probably deter you from ever going near one ever again. Before I get started though, because we're only about a week and a half away from the end of the month, I'm gonna be announcing the new backdrop winner very, very soon. So if you did not see yet, if you wanna win this backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and head over to my Etsy shop and press that follow button right there. Whoever does that, it gives me this like list of usernames and I'll be picking out one of those to win this backdrop. So only two steps. And I will put a link to my Etsy shop down below in the description for you. We also have so many new awesome things on our website because it is wedding season, the warm weather, summer's coming up. We have a lot of wedding items on our website right now. My mom also came out with this beautiful new jewelry line. I love dainty jewelry like this. And of course, if there's any summer birthdays coming up, we have our mystery birthday box. So if you would like some mystery in your birthday, I have also linked that down below in the description. So yeah, so many new things. Definitely check it out and thank you all once again for your support. Okay, so this very first creepy story is called The Endless Slide. This story is about a boy named Todd that was out playing in the neighborhood with his two friends. His mom always told him that when the streetlights came on, it was time for him to come home. But lucky for him, it was only just after lunchtime, so they had all day to play. They all went to the park that they had been going to for years, but stopped in their tracks when they noticed something different. There was this brand new red tube slide at the very top of the playground where there used to be this old rusty silver one. They were all super excited at first, but when they walked to the very bottom of it, they could hear this very strange noise coming from inside of it. Almost like this violent wind flowing through it or the sound of the ocean on a stormy day. You know, when you hold like a shell up to your ear and there's that weird noise, that's what the inside of this slide sounded like. It almost sounded like there was another world inside of it. By the way, when I was a kid and my parents told me that you can actually hear the ocean inside of a shell, like the waves crashing, I believed them. I literally thought it was like a portal for my ear to hear like an ocean across the world. I was very, very gullible. Anyways, so they all began to dare each other to go down this red slide, but Todd's friends ended up chickening out. So to prove he wasn't scared, he decided he would be the first one to go down it. He climbed up the playground and when he looked into the slide, he expected to see a little light that indicated the exit, but all he saw was darkness. But still, he sat down, closed his eyes, and pushed himself down it. At first, it was thrilling. It almost felt like it went straight down, but then it started to curve and he was spinning. But after 30 seconds, something did not feel right. Why was he still sliding? He began to call for his friends, but his voice just echoed throughout the red tube. He was still going and seconds turned into minutes. He had never been claustrophobic before, but he suddenly felt like he was being suffocated. It was almost as if the slide was getting smaller and smaller the more that he slid down it. So he began to hit on the plastic sides to make his friends know that there was something wrong, but still no answer. And that's when the strangest thing happened. He began to hear something moving in the tube, just slightly behind him. He at first thought that maybe one of his friends had gone down the slide after him and was slowly catching up. But that guess was quickly shot down when he looked behind him to see these two hands with incredibly long fingers crawling through the darkness behind him. And whoever it was, they were crawling head first down the slide, maybe about four feet behind him. But the slide was so dark behind him that it was impossible to see a face. All he saw were these arms and hands crawling, smacking against the plastic. And to make matters worse, whatever this thing was, it was breathing so heavily, he could literally feel this hot breath against his back. And finally, after what seemed like an eternity, he shot out of the slide and into the darkness of the night. The thing that was behind him stopped at the very bottom. It 
It was this dark, crouched creature with eyes that glowed in the dark like an animal. It stared at him for just a second and then crawled back up the slide really quickly. Todd looked around at the neighborhood. All of the streetlights were on and in the distance, he could see police cars at his mom's house. Turned out he had been in the slide for nine hours. This story creeps me out so much because when I was a kid, I mean, I'm still claustrophobic, but I never went down tube slides. I hated the idea of something being completely around me. I didn't go down water slides. I would only go down slides without a top. Anyone else? Okay, then we have one called the extra slide. Now this is a Trevor Henderson creation and I know how much you guys love him. For those of you who don't know, he is an artist that primarily makes horror themed content and his creatures are always just so terrifying. And this is a creature he called the extra slide. And it's basically a shapeshifter pretending to be a slide. You can see its hands that are the slide supports and you can see eyes on the very top along with a mouth where the slides exit should be. It doesn't appear during the day, only at night. And it clearly wants to eat an unsuspecting child that climbs into its mouth in the middle of the night thinking it's a slide. So that's terrifying as well. And once again, it's a tube slide. I hate those things. And lastly, we have the back rooms mystery slides. This one has nothing to do with a red slide. I just wanted to see if you guys would survive the back room mystery slides. By the way, I'm getting over a cold if I sound awful. If you find yourself in the back rooms and you come up to these three slide entrances, which one would you choose? I want you to literally pause the video, look at these slides, see which one attracts you, and comment the color emoji of the slide you would choose. So there's a blue one that says this way. So comment any blue emoji if you choose to go down this one. Then there's the yellow slide, which is only question marks. Comment any yellow emoji if you choose to go down this one. And lastly, there's the green slide that says exit with a smiley face and comment any green green emoji if you choose to go down this one. Have you done it yet? All right, I'm about to tell you if you survived. This is like a choose your own adventure game, I love it. If you chose the blue slide, you were taken to the pool rooms and were thrown right into the pool in the deep end with no ledges. So if you're a good swimmer, maybe you can swim and find somewhere safe, maybe a ledge or something, but there's no telling how long that would take or if there even is a ledge. And if you don't swim, I think you've met your end. If you took the green slide, Slide. I'm sorry, but this is immediate death. You were thrown into a Smiler's Den, which is one of the worst entities in the back rooms. Check out my back rooms creature video if you don't know much about this. It is so creepy. And for those of you smarty pants that chose the yellow slide, you survived. It took you to a safe, quiet neighborhood level of the back rooms. And I'm not just saying this to survive, but when I looked at these slides, I chose the yellow one, so. I guess I'm okay. Anyways, guys, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoy this type of content, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you wanna check out my Etsy shop or any of the new awesome things we have on our merch store, I have linked everything down below in the description. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.